What to do, what to do, what to do. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yeah. What to do, what to do, what to do, Half and Jay family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. It's your boy, Half. And your girl, Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction, reaction video. video. All right, y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back. back. yes. Definitely appreciate everybody, man. Yes, we do. Coming back yes. with us. Yes. All right, so here we are again. About to give y'all some more reactions. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to help spread awareness and, um, you know, to those who may uh, not understand. Right. Completely or fully yet. You know what I mean? So we hope y'all help out and share the video, like the video, and comment on the video. Yes. <laughs> I like how proper you're sitting. Your posture you know is saying? better. Yeah. Okay. You know. <laughs> but anyway, let them know baby, who we react to today. We are reacting to Black America Owes Me an Apology, Candace Owens. Black America Owes Me an Apology. Now, we all know Candace can be really. She's very blunt. Very blunt. Very blunt. No um, nonsense. Unapologetic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Which is good, mm -hmm. you know. We need more of that in the world, because mm -hmm. a lot of people be um, sugarcoating stuff, right? You know. So anyway, we about to get into it. But before we do, everybody else out there who has not yet subscribed to that channel, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Yes. Turn your post notifications on. Yes. Like and share this video. <sighs> yes, please <laughs> share the video. <laughs> and comment down below, baby. Down below. Come, come and join on. the squad, man. Yes, come on. Half and J. Right. Plus, we are kicking kick off. off. What? <laughs> Good vibes, baby. Good, Good vibes. A pick a cook a pick a chick. Boom. Oh, my goodness. We are here with the chick a boop boop. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Not really my birthday, but it feels like a birthday. I feel like I should be receiving presents and that somebody should be making a cake because of this little update on Black Lives Matter, my friends. Guess what? They are headed for insolvency after plunging $8.5 million into the red. Wow, what? Are you, how did they collect $90 million following the George Floyd? Who was it that was saying that it was a scam? I don't remember. Who was the girl that was saying that BLM was definitely a scam? That I don't support the Black Lives Matter movement whatsoever because the Black Lives Matter movement does not support me. I think that a better title for that movement would be Black Deaths Matter. They seem to protest, they seem to rage, and they seem to ruin, and they seem to support violence when a black person dies. But what about when a black person lives? There are tons of black people that are trying to better themselves in their community. There are tons of black people that are disadvantaged by the homes that they are born into and just not having money. These groups do not fund them. They will pay for somebody's funeral, but they will not pay for somebody's college education. You say Black Lives Matter is what? Is a, a political arm for the Democratic Party. That has been co-opted. Correct. Patrice Cullors continues to lie. Black Lives Matter continues to lie. $90 million, of which $21 million apparently went to, according to Black Lives Matter themselves, it went to um, building the black movement. Like, I don't even know what that means. It, it, $25 million going to building a black movement. Apparently, the black movement was Patrice moving herself, a black woman moving herself uh, into other areas of the communities of people that she claims are oppressing black Americans. She's fearful of, of white people, why people are so bad. Well, why doesn't she want to live amongst black people <laughs> oh my god it was me it was actually me i was <laughs> candace a lot of black people do not like candace owens because she's speaking nothing but facts mm -hmm. and as black people you don't want to face it face the facts face right. the truth right so everybody is uh, well not everybody but a, a lot of black people are against her because they feel that she's bashing other black people how? You know but she, 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 when she said that the Black Lives Matter movement mm -hmm. will help pay for a funeral, but not college for somebody who's alive and well, and that's that's the truth. Yeah. Like why, why not set up a, a, like a, a an account or mm -hmm. something for someone who's doing good in the community mm -hmm. and wants to attend college and right. the Black Lives Matter movement pay for that, but. Right. You will pay for someone's funeral. If you can look in your own community right now and, and ask yourself, 
did the Black Lives did the Black Lives Matter movement help your community? Right. You know, what did they do for your community? Are there any YMCA's that got built, or you know, is there better education? Uh, you know, in the schools over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, what did they really do? And we would like to know. And that money is gone. <laughs> Quick. I know I didn't get none. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what I, you know, <laughs> I didn't even get a stimulus, though. You know what I'm <laughs> Damn, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> well, why does she want to live amongst black people? Oh my God, it was me. It was actually me. I was staying up here and I got called an Uncle Tom. I got called a coon. I got called all sorts of things. I got called a bed wench. I got called someone that was tap dancing for the white man. Wow. And I think what they were really looking for was the phrase that Candace is more intelligent than me and wasn't going to fall for another race hustle. Because that's what Black Lives Matter always was, right? And people that are emotional and are uneducated respond to that, right? They respond to someone saying, oh, the Klansmen are coming back if you don't vote for me. And then they run in the streets and they say, oh, we got to protest Trump because this person tells me the Klansmen is coming. They don't even stop to think. This is what BLM did. They won the ultimate hustle, right? They said, okay, we got Trump in office. We've got the media telling everybody that he's aligned with David Duke and that he's literally Adolf Hitler. So now we're going to get the lowest denominator, which we believe to be black Americans, the dumbest people, the least educated people, which, by the way, factually speaking, when you take a look at the literacy rates in America, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. We're going to get those people, expect them to respond emotionally and follow us into the streets and they can grab some handbags. So we'll get back as a, a few handbags and then... I know before, you know, we switched uh, the media for a long time, I thought uh, Trump was racist. Just from me hearing the media, and I did, I thought that. Mm -hmm. Exactly what she said. Mm -hmm. Like, they made it seem like the clans, you know, were coming into town, and mm -hmm. we're about to be slaves again. And made it seem like he the one who called on them. Yeah. Right, when he said something about the, the Proud Boys or something right. like that. Just, it's, it's, it's so refreshing. I feel really good today because yeah. I was really in a dark, dark space. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I was just strictly going by word of mouth. Right, but I mean, then again, it's like if you're a racist, like I said, this is what I, if you're a true racist of a, of a, uh, of a certain race, mm -hmm. You're not going to want to do nothing with that race at all, period. Right, right, right. You but I, I wasn't thinking that way. No, I understand that. But I'm just saying that people don't, don't even look at it like that. Yeah. Like, Trump was doing stuff for black people way back in the day when he had his own building. He had black people staying in his building. Right. And like I said before, a lot of black people were praising Donald Trump. And, oh, I want I got Trump money. And right. I got to cash these Trump checks. And right. And I want to be like Trump. Right. But I wasn't thinking that way because the media right. came in and... They did. Completely they did. took over my mind. They did. A lot yeah. of people's minds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, this wake up is, I love this wake up. Mm -hmm. Of a problem. We're going to get those people, expect them to respond emotionally and follow us into the streets. And they can grab some handbags. So we'll get back as a, a few handbags and then business owners will move out of their neighborhoods and they'll be impoverished after they sell those handbags. But we're going to give them some fun. And black people just did it. I mean, it was just, it was just so dumb. It was embarrassing. It was foolish. I didn't care a single minute when I was called a name because when you're right, you're right. Okay. When you are right, you are right. And it pays to just wait and let time settle the dust. And boy, has time done just that. Financial disclosures obtained by the Washington Free Beacon show the perilous state of BLM Global Networks Foundation, which officially emerged in 2020 as a more formal way of structuring the civil rights movement. The civil rights movement. <laughs> Scam. Yet despite the financial controversy and scrutiny, BLM continued to hire relatives of the founder, Patrice Cullors, and several board members. Cullors brother, Paul Cullors, set up two companies which were paid $1.6 million providing professional security services. Basically, Patrice Cullors hired all her family, all her friends. She dispersed all of the money to them, and now they're going to leave BLM where it is, dead in the water because it was never about anything other than hustling white people that feel guilty for being white. Right. They're idiots. And black people that are stupid and are so invested in their race that right. they suspend logical thinking. Also, Ooh. idiots. 
And I don't feel bad for either of these people. But so if you donated to Black Lives Matter because you were feeling white and guilty, <laughs> you're feeling black and stupid, I just don't care. You got what you deserved. So go on, Patrice, with your big bad self. Enjoy those millionaire houses. Invite me over. Invite me over, Patrice. Let's, <laughs> let's hang out. Okay, speaking of BLM and individuals that are low IQ, who, of course, end up being the most racist individuals in society and also the most sure. violent individuals in society because when you don't have any intellect, it's very easy to impart your emotions at all times and your emotions will spiral and you become physically violent because you don't know how to communicate, you don't know how to rationalize. Well, that was my verdict instantly regarding the adjunct professor at Hunter College yesterday we showed you who went up to a pro-life group that was simply passing out brochures to state why they were pro-life and she freaked out, accused them of violence because they didn't agree with her. And then she threw their brochures and attempted to flip the table in this horrific act of violence. And Hunter College was investigating it, and I declared that this is a violent woman. Well, if I had just held on for a few minutes, I would have found that she then was pursued by a New York Post reporter and a cameraman at her house, and she put a machete to the reporter's neck. The footage is unbelievable. Take a listen. Let's, let's get out of here. You can't do that. I mean, it is so shocking. You, you can't even imagine this taking place anywhere. But I don't know, in a country that is being overtaken by ISIS and they're about to conduct a beheading, that's what she looks like. She looks like an ISIS soldier, which, by the way, many people, the most radical BLM soldiers, were ISIS soldiers, right? They were willing to go this far. So you kind of begin to peel back this onion and you realize, wait, what the hell is happening? She then followed them outside onto the street with this machete and chased them running. Wow. Take a look. What? So what you have at first is these two men they look like they're maybe going to their car and she's behind them and she has her hood up and she has her machete and she's pursuing the guy particularly that has the camera, oh. right? Because she thinks he's taking photos, not realizing that there's a dashboard camera that's catching all of this. She's chasing him on foot and then his, his partner, who I'm assuming is the actual reporter, then chases her away. I mean, this is just unbelievable footage. They're running around the car. She is a machete-wielding maniac, but also an adjunct professor at Hunter College who also taught at NYU. Wow. This is terrifying stuff. And this is not something to mock. Uh, obviously, this woman should be arrested. And then Hunter College finally said, oh, now we're going to release her. So she's since been fired. But why did it take her wielding a machete to be fired? Right? She should have been fired immediately after she violently attacked those kids who simply had brochures. How did she even make it into the hallways of Hunter College or NYU? That's oh, fast. I know. It was another DEI initiative. Where that is crazy yeah. right there. Yeah. And she was a, uh, what was she at the, at the, at the, a professor? A professor mm -hmm. at, the, at the college? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. She's, now, she's just plain crazy. Super crazy. Yeah. Like, she... Because she's educated. She's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> e educated people can be crazy. Those are the most craziest, though. <laughs> the educated ones, <laughs> those are the most... Uh, man, I'm telling you. Of Hunter College or NYU. Oh, I know. It was another DEI initiative where you have a bunch of criminals that are flying under the radar of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Because what you are including are people that are insane, that are uneducated, that are low IQ, okay? And that are going to demand that you let them into those spaces to teach what? Militancy. That is exactly what she was there to teach, wow. okay? Calling herself a professor of the arts. No, she's a complete and utter whack job that should be in prison. Want to know another? Fun fact about this woman, Shalene Rodriguez, that's her name, by the way, is also suing the NYPD, claiming officers abused her when she was arrested in the Bronx during a protest over the murder of George Floyd in June of 2020. Again, I did not have this information yesterday, and none of it surprises me. I made exactly the right prognostications about her, that she's a whack job type BLM protester who is exceedingly violent, and despite her violence, despite having an arrest record with the NYPD, despite the fact that they knew this individual was a problem and they arrested her, they apprehended this person, 
She still was allowed to teach in the halls of NYU and Hunter College. Wow. She is wow. not the only person that should be fired from Hunter College. Right. The entire ecosystem that ever allowed her into a position to harm children should be fired, yeah. right? Whatever it is, it's going to be some DEI office that's looking for unique and artsy individuals with the history of being violent and protesting and standing up for their rights. They should all be fired. They should all be dismissed. And this goes back to something that is wonderful about Ron DeSantis, that he has done this in the state of Florida, that he has said no to adjunct professors like Shalene Rodriguez, who have no place anywhere but in a prison. If you like this video, you will like the full episode. Even that is crazy. Yeah, very crazy. She's running around with a machete, though. I'm a chasing people, though. Right. Then put it up to his neck. Yeah. You know how yeah. terrifying that can be? Yes. And though, a machete is sharp. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hunter College, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is, that is, that. I'm, I'm lost for words on that one. Like, I don't even, like mm -hmm. Candace said, I don't even see how she even stepped foot back into the hallways. Right. You know, and she already had a prior arrest uh, record mm -hmm. also. And she's even, how you even teaching? Right. Like, how you even get your credentials, though? Right. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, man, we hope y'all enjoyed that, man. Comment down below. <coughs> Is there anything you want to add before we get into these shout outs? No. All right, so let's jump into these shout outs. Okay, first shout out goes to Christine Thiel. What's up, Christine Thiel? Christine Thiel, shout out to you. Hope you definitely enjoyed that reaction. Let us know what you thought about it. Mm -hmm. Comment down below. We love y'all. Yes, we do. And let's get into the next one. Okay, second shout out goes to Ray Jr. What's up, Ray Jr.? Ray Jr., what's going on? Shout out to you. Hope you definitely enjoyed that as well. Um, you know, again, this, 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 this is crazy, man. Um, the Black Lives Matter movement was a mess. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a mess, you know. And um, as time keeps going, the truth keeps coming out. Oh yeah. You know, so when they say the truth shall set you free. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, we out this day. Yes. Peace. Peace.